Danny Preston Danner in the far lane. Scott Palmer making his first crack at a racetrack right here beside us. Scott Palmer. the clutch right there when it went to change gears. Probably the only car here with a clutch in it. Scott Palmer near lane, Preston Tanner far lane. All righty, the Black Mamba. Keith Haney coming up. Well, pretty hope the stream is better. The app did good, but the place is getting crowded. We may have to bring our satellite down here and put it up trackside later today or tomorrow. We'll just have to see. Mod testing just about winding up, I believe. I don't see too many cars in line, but we'll have to see. Once again, Keith Haney and the Black Mamba coming up. Brandon Schweitzer looking on. Once again, hope this stream's a little bit better. More people rolling in here and cell signals getting tougher and tougher. We'll have to figure that out. I'm just going to tell you when Mike Thielen and the Learn to Fly machine comes, I'm going to have to set this thing down on a tripod for a second. I got a little project I'm working on with him for some uh, TV coverage for the event. So bear with me on that one run. I'm going to need to record him with my other phone, but we'll still try to get this thing where you guys can see it. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay. 
Once again, Keith Haney coming at you in the Black Mamba. Something. It's a little radio communication. set you guys down for one second i do apologize but business is business hey, <laughs> mike feeling near lane spencer hyde far lane coming up
Alrighty, sorry about that. Mike dealing with some tire shake near lane. I didn't even see what Spencer High did. I guess he went on down through there. I see the wind light clicking on his lane. Sorry about that. Got a little special project for the Thielens. Such great people with the Glacier Aviation Group out of the Mike Janice Racing Stable. Alrighty. Justin Jones. Yeah, I've got some heavyweights on board. That one, Brandon Pez. Fuel Tech Lewis D. Headset on Justin Jones out of Texas in the Imperial Construction. PJS Machine, Justin Jones. shot out of a can and once again that was justin jones i believe it was jay weiss marketing on the side of the door imperial construction fuel tech pjs racing brandon pay is running back to get in the headhunter great job last weekend man thank you bro. thank you i know chris well, uh, Rainy down there is excited to see that buck motor making that kind of horsepower. Oh, I bet you, I bet you, everyone at Buck, Rainy, and the guys are all excited. Well, so you doing some stuff in the tank? I'm gonna tell you that. So are you helping Justin for the weekend, or yeah, just filling in today? Yeah, a couple other buddies. All right, good job. Thank we'll you, talk buddy. to you soon. Thanks again for your support. Once again, Fuel Tech Lewis D driving a bar racing buck powered uh, radio versus the world machine went 356 last weekend and three runs in a brand new race car, brand new combination. So. Great job to Lewis, helping Justin Jones this weekend. Mark W. in a Wolverine. Him and Mark Mickey squaring up tomorrow night. Mm. A battle of turbo versus turbo. Remember, for all you uh, hustlers, gamblers, whatever, win light bets. Just getting everybody hooked up on all these grudge races. You can win some prizes. Have a good time. Tell you what, shout out to Drag Illustrated. They got this place decorated up with all these uh, red tied canopy uh, canopies, fence post covers. It's truly going to present itself well on the national live stream and on CBS Sports. So, great job to those guys. Pro mods are still coming around. The Wolverine 2 coming at you next. His first crack at a racetrack. <laughs> Decker Salvage coming around a corner. Generally, Mike Jr. runs first and big change. Once again, that's Mark W. over there in this Wolverine 2, the beautiful turbocharged entry. Tim Slavin's former car.
or something, I'm not sure. Didn't bump in, and then it just went puh. Alrighty, Mike Decker Jr., a.k.a. Big Change in the beautiful Decker Salvage Racing Entry. One of two Decker Salvage cars here today. See Hollywood, Decker 3, getting ready to go. Famous racing driver out of family. Almost. Almost. Once again, we are testing right here at Brayton Motorsports Park. If you haven't noticed, the World Series of Pro Mods is getting ready to happen here on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Somebody's going to win $100,000. The headhunter, Brandon Pez, coming around out of Texas. Once again, thanks for watching. Sorry to stream it out. Crapped out. And American and beautiful stream racing brand products machine coming around next. Larry Jeffers race cars, one of my favorite cars. Randy Merrick's car, love that body style. But the head hunter is a sharp looking ride as well. Brandon Pez and Outlaw Trim.
like it. Did not like it. Champion coming at ya. and bucks on down through there once again that was randy merrick your 2022 nmca extreme pro mod world champion randy merrick robert abbott coming up next robert abbott another wild motorsports competitor randy has a wild motorsports power as well robert abbott local orange grove grower right here coming at you December series down here in Florida. Robert Abbott.
Tutter on the gang had done the job on Robert's car. Fantastic opening hit right here at the World Series of Pro Mod for Robert Abbott. <laughs> Hollywood Decker coming up. Decker number three in the second Decker salvage race and entry. Everybody running the right lane all of a sudden. Once again, that was Mike Decker the third in the deck Hollywood Decker. Car was for sale. If anybody's looking for a rolling pro mod. coming at you. Chuck Olsh out of the Northeast Pro Mod Group. Chuck Olsh out of Maryland coming at you.
make the trip. Alrighty, that's the end of the Pro Mod show. We'll pick up some of these other classes later in the day. Thanks for watching. I got to figure this whole internet thing out. Appreciate everybody supports us in making drag racing greater. All my sponsors, we got them tagged. I'll see you soon.